Oh, hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Rick. That's JR Jackson. What's up, Rick? The Reverend. It's a Monday. You know Monday's the best day of the week? Why is that? Because it's the first day of the week. If you enjoy your life, you should okay. enjoy the beginning of a You're going all like Gary V on week. us on a Monday. Monday is better than Fridays. Fridays is the end of your week, and it's like wrapping up, and things are almost over. Don't you want things to begin? <laughs> it's, a new, it's a new chance to be great. Doesn't the week turn on Sunday, though? The, well, the work week starts Monday. No, I understand the work week, but like the actual week oh, yes, begins. Of yes, right, right. Yeah, but nothing happens on Sunday. Right, except, except players for things we're going to talk about. Oh, <laughs> except literally, look at a this. guy convulsing on the field, this which guy we're going to get into this momentarily. This guy thinks on the same wavelength. You're right. <laughs> Obviously, tag team back again. <laughs> so, uh, on a serious note, though. There is a video that has been going around, and this young man's name is Keaton Jones. And he was bullied in his school, yet the sports world has found a way to react. So first, let's show the video of Keaton pleading to, it seems like, not only his mother, the kids that were bullying him, but also kids that have been bullied as well. And just trying to bring an end to this while also having his authentic feelings just captured on camera. Just out of curiosity, why do they bully? What, what's the point of it? Why do you find joy in taking? Innocent people and finding a way to be mean to them. It's not okay. What do they say to you? They call me, they make fun of my nose, they call me ugly, they say I have no friends. What'd they do to you at lunch? Put milk on me and put a hand down my clothes, threw bread at me. Is it just you? Yep. Or is it other kids too that feel that way? Say it's other kids too. How's that make you feel? I think they do it to me, and I'm for sure no one that they do it to other people, because it's not okay. People that are different don't need to be criticized about it, because it's not their fault. But if you are made fun of, just don't, don't let it bother you. Just stay strong, I guess. It's hard. But it'll probably get better one day. All right, again, very authentic. Um, and it should be noted before anybody has any sort of conspiracy theory about this. He is the one that asked his mother to record him. Mm -hmm. He also asked his mom to pick him up because he didn't want to go back to lunch, as I'm sure you could probably see why. Now, the amazing thing about this is that like we view the internet as sometimes the loneliest hellhole that you could possibly log on to just by simply searching on Google. Yet the internet has found a way to connect Keaton with many incredible athletes and a star studded field of athletes. And here are a few of the video responses. Well, here's J.R. Smith. Let's get to the video responses first from the UFC and what have you. So take a look. I wanted to read a poem to you by Buddha. Our life is shaped by our mind. We become what we think. Joy follows a pure thought like a shadow that never leaves. Always remember that you can be whoever you want to be. And again, I'm sorry that bullying has been taking place at your school. I want you to know, bud, you got friends in the UFC. And uh, regardless of how dark it looks and how sad you may become, know that people are your friend and willing to stand with you. You never know what's gonna happen, bud. I was bullied as a kid, and I became a UFC champion, so keep your head up, stay positive, and continue being a beautiful, great kid, and uh, things will turn around, I promise. Keep your head up, I've seen your video, and it's heartbreaking, it's sad what these kids are doing to you. Do not let them break you, because that's when they really win. From CSU to Green Bay, and all the way down here in Texas, we're pulling for you, we're praying for you, and we want you to know that never be ashamed of who you are. You're the strong one, keep your head up, stay strong. If you're ever in Los Angeles, you can come to my gym. If you're ever in Boston, you can come to my other gym and train there. If you wanna learn how to protect yourself, you wanna learn how to do self-defense or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, whatever you want, it's on me. Free classes, love you, buddy. Just remember, man, you, you one of a kind. You know, God made no mistakes. Um, your life is going to have a purpose. It's going to have um, some way you can reach someone else and inspire them by all the adversity that you face. So don't give up hope. 
Don't let these people get you down. Don't let them tell you who you are. Um, have a strong sense of self-worth. And um, keep a smile on your face through it all, man. I, I apologize for all these mean people bullying you. And um, just know that you'll see we got your back. Okay, so um, as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about how I can relate personally. Because high school is probably one of the more difficult times of my life that I had to go through. Mm -hmm. And I had to deal with... Um, Things that I won't necessarily say, but just a shittiness factor of how kids, when they're younger and what they have to deal with and what have you. I can tell you, I had the support from very few people, and my parents were there as well. If I had this sort of support, I would go in double barrel middle finger <laughs> to every single bully yeah, as yeah. I'm walking through. Because then they'd be like, oh shit, I wish I could befriend him now. But like, and we could roll through some of the tweets as well, but as I'm looking at this, it's just, it's so cool to see and it's so cool to see how people are reacting and just trying to help out Keaton in every way. Just for experiences, like, okay, so what I saw from a lot of uh, the response was, and again, it's, it's a little odd that this became, not odd, but it's, everyone's pointing out that it went through a lot of athletes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, it crossed over, of course, the entertainment folks and things like that. But yeah, Millie Bobby Brown tweeted Yeah, about the it, athletic so. stream went big. Mm -hmm. A lot of pro players and, and uh, talkers and news guys and, and guys who still speak about a lot of sports invite him to their events or, right. you know. So that that stuck out, I think, because it spoke to a lot of people that no matter what, these guys are now huge, both physically and in the world. They were kids and damn near all of them felt the same thing mm. or dealt with the same thing. So people would assume, oh, these guys are cool, they're big guys, no one ever messes with them, they can beat their ass. All that's the thought, but then it allowed them to reveal, hey, this happened to me too. Mm -hmm. And then I'm UFC champion. I'm a tight end for the Titans. No one even wants to look at me the wrong way now, you know? So um, maybe that also being part of the inspiration, um, which I think is why it spoke to everyone, because I think everyone had it to some point. Even the people who um, are the bullies, this is, this is, I was tweeting about this over the weekend, because mm -hmm. when I saw it, it it angered me. Yeah. And um, I mean, I, I had a very mild level of, of the bullying. I wouldn't even have called it bullying. It was teasing is what I caught. And as soon as I responded for three to four days straight, it stopped because there was nothing else to get at someone. When someone's no longer bothered, there's, there's no longer, there's no more targets. So that's really where it comes from. He needs, this kid, it helped if he was inspired to not let it get to him. Once they know it doesn't get to him, they have no more ammunition. Right. Um, which again, with all these people that are reaching out to him, it gives him at least a coalition of people that say, hey, you're a good guy and let those guys know that you're a good guy. And then they, they can kind of stop. So um, I, I do hope this turns around because what I think also can happen is guys like this, then if they don't get the help or support, they can turn into bullies. Mm -hmm. They find someone else that's a little that's weaker, right. yeah. a little bit more isolated and, and is a little bit more scared. And they go, okay, I need to, take whatever is building up in me of the anger that I have and then put it off on someone else. Because those kids bullying him, they might have some situations going on at home. They might. Or wherever else they do their thing, and they've been bullied. And all of a sudden, it's a, it's a vicious cycle, you know? Right. Kids aren't born to be assholes. They become it. So, <laughs> right. it's one last thing on this. So, uh, D.L. Hughley Instagram, this, this collage picture. But it's a collage of this kid, his mother... Their family and their, uh, where are they from, Tennessee? Tennessee. Um, Confederate flags, porch pictures where they're standing with flags and stand for the flag and if you don't like us, then F you and all that type of rhetoric. So now what's being inserted is don't feel bad for this kid because his family has mm -hmm. these Confederate his and, parents. and potential, yeah, and family, there's a bunch of other folks around in some of these pictures, have these leanings and tendencies. Let's not go for that. I agree. So by the way, no. I agree. This is this is some of the stuff that is being put out here about his family, which I don't know to the degree of, of truth to it, but whatever. Don't let it change how you feel about what's happened to this kid's emotions. What is he, like 11, 12 years old, something, something like that? Something like that, yeah. So this kid is still a kid. He's still growing up. He's still developing his, his mindset and his approach to the world. His parents or family members, whoever has these types of potentially racist uh, 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 beliefs, mm -hmm. are instilling it in him slowly. This is a chance where he doesn't have to believe that shit. 
to where he can be a different person. You're, you're exposed to what you're exposed to, and that's what you become. He's being exposed to other people that he may never would have been exposed to. Maybe it's going to change the way he's being brought up. This is a victory right now for yeah. someone who's probably going who has a chance for becoming a, a, not a very good person because of the bullying and maybe because of some of the family members. Again, this is just what I'm seeing. Right. I don't know the degree of truth to it. So if it's fake, I don't know. So you're saying I, I agree, and right. I don't want to. I don't want to take anything away from this kid yeah. being bullied. That is horrendous. But I do want to take the opportunity to highlight the fact that exactly what this child said, the ex the word racist could be substituted for bullies. And, yeah. that, and that's what really needs to be highlighted here is the fact that, yeah, this is something that happens to everyone across the board. So let's not do it to each other. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want that to get lost in this conversation. Like, yes, he is the victim here. And but he and his family can be taught something out of this. Because it's the exact same thing. You know how many black kids have been made fun of for their nose and told they were ugly and had milk poured on them throughout history? Yeah. Use, use this as a learning experience. And it turns you know? into violence yeah. beyond those victims. Yeah. And to highlight, uh, like I agree with everything that you guys are saying, to highlight his first point, we've also had like the stand up to bullying campaigns. Mm -hmm. So this was also a lot of athletes trying to not only resonate with what they have seen throughout not only their own experiences, but also part of the cause that they are trying to establish within the fans, within the families, within anybody who follows sports at all to say that this is the side of history that we're on. This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a safe environment for people to simply go to school and just learn instead of having that being restricted by, yeah. oh man, if I if I leave 30 seconds earlier or later, then I'm gonna have to run into freaking yeah. Joe at my locker. Because what you'll find out, again, this is from the little teasing I caught. I end up being really good friends with the guys that were doing that. After it mm. ended, because again, they they don't. It's just there's assumptions made about you. They don't know who you are, where you came from, or what you're about. So then the bullying ensues. As soon as it ends, next thing you realize, oh shit, we're all the same type of person. What the hell are we beefing about? Right. And you actually become friends. That was my experience. I'm sure that doesn't happen with many people. But again, so. Back to the way this kid's being raised, he may find out he has a lot more in common with people and doesn't have to divide himself or split amongst our society who gets to be in that circle versus this circle and any kind of relation you can have with anyone. And that's where I think the beginning of this will, the beginning of the end of this will start, right. you know? All right, well, well put. Uh, yeah. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Certainly do let us know and subscribe to 2IT Sports.